हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम निशा सिंगला एंड दिस इज माई थर्ड वीडियो ऑन लाइफ साइकिल हुक इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्टर एन जी ऑन चेंजेस एन जी ऑन इन इट एंड एन जी डू चेक लाइफ साइकिल मेथड्स एंड नाउ इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन जी आफ्टर कंटेंट इन इट एन जी आफ्टर कंटेंट चेक एन जी आफ्टर व्यू इन इट एंड एन जी आफ्टर व्यू चेक लाइफ साइकिल हुक so now let's talk about these four life cycle hooks in detail so there are basically two terms which we are using in these four life cycle hooks and which are content and view right so before we go into these hooks it's important to understand the difference between content and view after content in it and after content checked are hooks that deal with the content while after view in it and after view checked are hooks that deal with the views so when we talk about content Content refers to the external content projected into the component using content projection. So now, when we talk about content projection, it is a way to pass the HTML content from the parent component to the child component. The child component will display the template in a designated sport, and we use the ng content directive. to create a sport in that template of the child component and i have created a separate video on that in detail link is already in the description when we talk about view view refer to the template of the component so that's the difference between content and view and based on these we have specific life cycle hook so now let's talk about ng after content in it so whenever you implement content projection you need to first make sure the content that you are projecting it is completely initialized or not so let me quickly first show you its example so as per our previous videos we have already covered these life cycle hooks like when the first time component run in that case it will always invoke constructor then if you have any input properties then ng on changes life cycle hook will run afterward ng on init and then to handle any custom change detection we have ng do check and if any of your input property will change so in that case it will call ng on changes because it will run every time whenever input property will change and ng do check so ng on in it will only call once so now let's talk about ng after content in it so for that move to your editor and to implement ng after content in it we need to implement content projection so we already know that if you pass something from here this html element we are passing from parent component to the child component like this and to visible this component inside this child component we have to use one directive that is called ng content so wherever we will use this ng content element or directive in that case whatever content we have passed from here it will projected at this line so when you run this one you can see this is a child content from period so this is called content projection now if you want to handle whatever content you have projected here in its template file so in that case you first have to make sure that all the content is completely initialized before accessing so for that we have ng after content in it life cycle hook okay so let's import after content in it life cycle hook and it will give you ng after content in it let me do console dot log and you can see here right so if you want to access this element inside child component then you have to add some reference here right so i'm just giving it a name of child here and in its template file you can access this one with the help of content child decorator and that selector name and any variable that would be of type element ref because we are pointing to a element so now this content child will actually point to this h1 element because we are pointing to this selector here so this dot content child i cannot access anywhere else because I, at this point my content is not initialized so that's why ng after content in it life cycle hook is used because inside this only i can access this dot content child it is pointing to h1 element and it will return one native element and once you expand it further it will give you complete dom access so now you can manipulate your element so this one i have already explained but let me quickly add some 
logic here so that I can show you the difference. So here maybe I am adding one style attribute and giving its color as green. So my projected content should be in green color now. It's working fine, right? But if you try to access it here, this dot content child, it will not work. It is undefined, right? Because you cannot access it here because by that time when ng do check will run, my content is not completely initialized. Now let's talk about another lifecycle hook and that is ng after content checked. See the difference between ng after content init and ng after content checked is ng after content init will only call once and during the first change detection cycle immediately after the creation of the component. So, so if you check this lifecycle execution, once you have ng do check, just after that it will call ng after content in it only for the first time. But try to understand if my this projected content should be handled based on any change. If my input property change may be based on that I want to update my logic of this content projection projected element. So in that case ng after content in it is not capable of doing that. ng after content in it can only handle any first time execution. So for the first time when my component will run, if you have something to handle at that time with your projected content, there you can use ng after content in it. But if you want the logic that you have written that should update whenever any property change or any change detection run. So in that case, it will not be able to do that. So in that case, instead of using ng after content in it, we have ng after content checked. So after content check is the lifecycle hook that Angular calls during every change detection cycle after Angular completes the checking of the content for the changes. Okay, and this hook fire after ng do check and ng after content in it. Let me give you one example. Let's try to update some input property and see based on that will your logic that you have written for your content will update or not. So now let's see if you try to modify any input property. So in that case my component change detection cycle will run right. So based on that I want to update some CSS of, of my projected content. So in that case see let's see whether it will update it or not. So maybe from here I will pass some maybe some color. So that color I want to apply on this projected content. This is a very small example but it will clear all your doubts. And we know that uh, parent data is basically holding the input property right. So what I can do here instead of passing it hard coded I can pass my property input property here. It's very straightforward right whatever color name I will pass from the parent component I want to apply it to my projected content and I am inside ng after content in it that's supposed to be run only once during the first time when the lifecycle will run of, of my component right. So now let's check this one. So as of now you can say it's black I think there is no color that is applied. So you can say it is saying color undefined. The reason for that is when the first time my component will run there is no value here right. So there is no color name actually. So if you want we can set some default value here and say this data is holding the color name right. So here I can pass maybe red color just to check and here it is right. And now this is the first time right. So you can see we have ng after content in it but now when I do some change here my change detection will run. So in that case which lifecycle hook should run? Constructor will not call again ng on change will run ng on in it only once then ng do check these two for sure will run but ng after content in it will not run because it only run during the first change detection cycle right. So when I say blue you can see it is running ng on changes and ng do check but not ng after content in it. So now I think it is more clear right how you will handle that logic if my projected content should be handle some logic based on the input property change. So that I cannot do in the ng after content in it. ng after content in it is responsible only 
for those logic that supposed to be run only once and that is during the first time when my change detection cycle will run fine so for this requirement i need to use another life cycle hook that can handle my content for any change that can happen with my input properties so that is my ng after content checked so let me quickly add that interface and that is after content checked we can quickly import its life cycle hook and if you see here this will run immediately after my ng after content in it for the first time and afterward for every time whenever my change detection will run so you can see for the first time ng after content in it and immediately it will call ng after content checked so now if i change anything to my input property you can see it will run ng on changes ng do check and ng after content checked not ng after content in it so it means every time whenever there will be change in the input properties whenever my change detection cycle will run so after every ng do check it will also run ng after content checked life cycle hook so if my requirement is something like this that i my projected content should handle sub logic based on every change detection so in that case that logic supposed to be right inside this one so now when you will check this one for the first time it should give red color so whenever i update my value from here it will again run change detection cycle and that will leads to run my ng after content in it life cycle hook as well so this is the difference between ng after content in it and ng after content so we have covered these two as well now similarly the way we have ng after content in it and ng after content checked same way we have ng after view in it and ng after view checked i have already created a video on view child and view children so this topic is completely related to that so if you want to handle the html or the template of the respective component inside the component class so in that case we use view child and view children right so a life cycle hook that angular call during the change detection after it completes initialization of a component view and its child view right there we use this after view in it angular also update the property decorated with view child and view children property before raising this hook so use this hook to handle any additional initialization task that you have so the way ng after content in it only run once similarly ng after view in it also fire only once during the first change detection cycle immediately after the creation of the component and in a same way we have ng after content checked we have ng after view checked a life cycle hook that angular calls after the change detector completes the checking of a component's view and child view for the changes and angular also update the properties decorated with view child and view children property before raising this hook so let me give you a very quick example for this i will go to the child component and you can see this this is the projected content right and this is the html or the template of this component right so i can access this html inside its component class with the help of view child and view children right and uh, for that we use this ng after view in it and after view checked life cycle hook i can add one selector here as well i can give it a name of child hook now when you move to its ts file i can access that one with the help of a decorator that is called view child i can give it a name of view child and it would also be of type element ref to access this view child variable i cannot access it any another life cycle hook because first we have to make sure the view is completely initialized so to make sure that thing we have a life cycle hook that is called ng after view in it that will make sure that the my view is completely initialized so that life cycle hook we have to use that is after view in it and it will give you one life cycle hook that is called ng after view in it and similarly i can do console.log so now let's check this one so as you can see it will run constructor ng on changes because we have data bound property ng on in it and then ng do check to handle any change detection after that we have projected content as well so we have ng after content in it and ng after content checked and after that it will run ng after view in it okay 
and inside this I can access this dot view child okay it is pointing to a p tag which is my this element so if you want to modify this one similarly the way we have used native element object similarly you can do something like this so this dot view child dot native element and I will use same set attribute but instead of changing the color maybe I will change background color so let's check this one so you can see this is the template of my child component so it changed to red so now if I talk about the last hook that is ng after view checked it is very similar to ng after content checked because ng after view in it will also run only once so if you have some logic on this view child that's supposed to be update based on every change detection so in that case that logic should be inside ng after view checked lifecycle hook okay so let me import that one as well it will come from after view checked and we have lifecycle hook that is called ng after view checked so let me first show you the execution so you can see for the first time it will run ng after view in it and then ng after view checked so if my any input property will change so you can see it will call ng on changes for the second detection cycle and ng do check and ng after content checked and ng after view checked it will not call ng after view in it because view in it will call only for the first time so if you have the logic if you want to update your background color on every input change so that logic should be handled in the ng after view checked so i can take the logic from here so this logic should be inside this and in a same manner I can pass my variable okay uh, let me first do it from here so if you notice here if I say blue it will not change right so that should be inside this hook that will run every time whenever the input property will change and here you can see ng after content checked and ng after view checked so this is the difference between ng after view in it and ng after view checked so i hope now you got the difference between init and checked hook right init hook means angular fires the after content in it and after view in it hooks when the content or view is initialized for the first time that happens during the first change detection cycle which angular invokes immediately after the instantiation of the component whereas when i talk about checked hook either it is ng after content checked or ng after view checked angular fires these two hooks right where angular checks if the content of the view has changed previously rendered content or view is same as the current content or view so you can do that logical comparison in these two hooks so I hope now these lifecycle hooks are clear and we are left with only one hook that is ng on destroy that I will talk in the next video. So this is all for today. I hope it is clear and I will be back in my next video. Till then keep learning.